Hello there guys, this is Gus, I'm coming to you from W Profit and in this video I'm going to talk to you about three types of traffic, okay? And the purpose of this video is to give you a, a concept and understanding of the three types of traffic that there is online on the internet, okay? So, number one kind of traffic is the traffic you control and this kind of traffic is the like pay-per-click advertising, Google ads, Facebook ads, solo ads and banner ads. And, and basically, if you're thinking of growing your business, if you're thinking of scaling, the best type of traffic there is, is the traffic you control. Because once you, on these kind of ads, once you figure out how you can make 10, one pound into two pound, then, like, for example, first week you can be making uh, 1,000 pound. And once you figure out the ad, when you, once you figure out the formula and you made the, the ad work, Next week you can be earning twenty thousand pounds. So there's there's nothing stopping you from doing that. That's the power of the traffic you control. So this is the number one traffic that you need to master. And what I suggest you to do if if you're a one man band and and right now you just your company is a startup, you're just starting your business. What you gotta figure out is that you gotta pick one of these traffic methods and try to master them. That should be your goal. Try to master one of these to the best of your capability. Don't try to go in all of all of them at the same time because you will be just you just be a little bit good at each of them and, and you will you will not be able to make big money. So on these all of these plat you can make big money on all of these. I, I see guys who are making millions on, on each of these platforms, okay? And actually there's one more one more uh, type of traffic is which is YouTube YouTube ads. Okay, I'm sure you've seen YouTube ads which uh, they pop up on, on the before of before any of the video you want to watch. And these are really the traffic you control. And what you want to do with this traffic, you want to send them to your uh, other website, which I don't suggest you send them to your marketing funnels, the opt-in funnels, which you can, you can capture the email address. And from there, you're going to turn them into traffic, the third type of traffic, which I'm going to talk to you in a bit, the traffic you own, okay? So that's traffic number one. And the second type of traffic is the traffic you don't control. And these are the traffic which like these are like social media, if you have Facebook pages, if you have Twitter accounts, if you have Instagram, Google Plus, LinkedIn, or Pinterest, forget forget my forgive my spelling. And these are these are these are good traffic. You might get traffic here and there, you might get some people coming to into your website here and there, but this is not sustainable and, and this is not this is not sorry, it's not scalable, okay? This is not scalable. You can't control and the traffic and that's the problem with it. It's good to have these in place, have the Facebook pages or have the website ranked for search engine, have the blog and all these things, have the YouTube channel, but you don't want to rely on them for consistent traffic flow to your website, okay? And one of the things with these are is that it's good to have them. These good for this is good for the people who already know you, already know about your business, already know about your product. They'll come search for you. You also you always want to be there for the people that already know you. And these kind of these kind of platforms like Facebook pages, Twitter, Instagram, uh having a blog that, that ranks for a CEO, these are good for these are good for being there. So when the people who already know you uh, they wanna maybe they wanna maybe come and they they like who you are, they wanna come and um, engage in your content or in your service in whatever you're giving, whatever message you're putting out there, they wanna come and learn more, you have these them in place for them. But if you're thinking of bringing new people in, bringing new leads in, new customers in, these are not another platform that you wanna rely on, okay? And that's it. And one thing with this traffic is that you want to always, when there's a traffic coming in from places you don't know, you have no control over, what you want to do, you want to put in call to action in all your marketing pieces, all your marketing material, all your content that is out there. And from them, you want to send them, put in a call to action in each one of them and try to send them to an opt-in page where you, where, you, where you capture the emails and, and from there, you will turn them into traffic you own, okay? And what is traffic you own? This this is getting people to your 
to your email list and once they are in there you can communicate with them you can build relationship give them value and you can uh, give them free value give them paid values give them your product offer them your service and all kind of things you can do once they are in your list okay so to recap you have traffic you control traffic you own so the traffic you don't control and the traffic you own okay your main focus if you're thinking of scaling if you're thinking of growing fast the the best bet is to put your focus on traffic you control which is buying traffic okay and the saying is that if you can't spend if you can't uh, buy customers you don't have a business in any kind of business you have to be able to uh, buy spend money to acquire a customer and still come out profitable a true business okay should be able to do that without any problem so if you're if you if you have a business who has only one product you don't have an upsells or you don't have back-end product that you're selling then there's a problem you can't do that for example if you're selling a uh, let's say you're selling a a one of product on Amazon okay and your product is 15 pound and you don't have no upsell, and you don't, you don't, you don't, you're not really controlling the traffic once they are uh, coming in Amazon, they're buying, let's say you buy, you're selling a book or something, they don't really have control over that, you can't upsell them, so your maximum you can spend, let's say 100 people come to the Amazon uh, shopping space, which they buy a product, and you can't really upsell them, that 15 pounds is all you can make on that customer but if you have a marketing funnel in place which you can upsell them more and more product you can whatever they need you can go and upsell them and you can make more money in the long run okay so let's say let me just give you a quick example what i mean by that if, if you don't know what a marketing funnel is and the marketing funnel is really a key to being able to spend money on on acquiring customers and also coming at profitable and 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 when you're able to spend money on acquiring customer, and when you're able to spend more money than your competitors, you can easily, easily beat your competitors without any trouble. So, let me just give you an example, okay? Let's say you spend a hundred pound on advertising, okay? And let's say this is your page right there. That people come in, you're selling a product right there. For let's say 15 pounds okay so now you have 100 people coming in let's say you have 100 people came in you spend 100 pounds 100 you got 100 clicks you got 100 visitors to your website okay all right from that 100 people let's say 10 of them buys your front end offer so 10 of them buy this is 150 okay you made 150 here You see, your profit here, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, which is, this is, this is, a, if you make 50 pound on your first product, you, you're very lucky. But, if you actually, let's say, six people bought, bought here, you would have been, you'd have been losing money, okay, so you made 50 pound profit. So a lot of p a lot of marketers stop here. They stop at this first product, okay? But what the elite marketers do, they have an upsell in place. They have a beautiful upsell in place. Which once some once people buy that, they give them another upsell. Some a, a different product that they need, that these ten people need. Let's say that out of the ten people three of them buy your upsell which is maybe i don't know what you want to upsell which usually upsells on around 97 pounds something that they need something that they want you offer them to them you have a good copies they will buy it so look here you gave an upsell you have 100 and so you have 200 you made around 201 pound i think you made 201 pound here okay so look, look, from the same traffic, from the same 100 people that came in, look, 
you made another 201 pound and from this point on this is all profit okay you made 201 pound extra and you don't you didn't have to buy any more traffic all you spend is 100 pound on traffic okay you didn't spend any more on traffic you spend 100 pound most people stop here but you 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 you, you went in one more step you gave them a one more offer and from the 10 people three of them buy you made them an 201 pound here okay and then you give another option okay or here you can even give a down sell you can even go more strategic you can give a down sell for the for the, the seven people that don't buy you can give a down sell maybe from the down sell you give, you give them to like a discount you can give them a two payments of 97 pound and even there you have two maybe one more person buying for 47 pound right there when you when you offer the down sell okay so look, you made you made you made forty seven pound on a down sell, which you make the you put the price down. Let's say these three people that said yes, you give them an, another upsell. Let's say this one, you know, one more product that you offer them. Let's say this one, this this is a more advanced product, okay? One nine seven, okay? One nine seven. Let's say from the three people that came into the that up all this, one of them will buy this. So here. You made another one hundred and seven pound, one hundred and ninety seven pound right here. You made okay. Boom, and you see, you see the power of this. This, this, and this is the power of. This is the power of, sales funnel. Okay. And the power of this really immense. If you're doing this, if you can do this, if you can, you see. Look, now total here. Look how much you made. Look how much you made. Let me just calculate this. Look. So you made fifty pound here on your first on your first sale. You made two hundred and one pound there here. You made hundred you made you made forty seven pound on one down sale. And you made hundred and ninety seven pound here, okay? So look. So on this on this initial on this initial spend which was in hundred pound on traffic, you you got ten customers here. That means you 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 got you made fifty pound profit here. For most people, that's it. They make fifty pound. But with all the upsell, with the power of this this upsell funnel, you made an extra four hundred and fifty pound. Four sorry, four hundred and forty five pound. And that's from the same traffic. So you don't have to spend anymore. So and if you're doing this, if you're able to spend. You see in business the secret to business. Whoever can whoever can spend more money on advertising wins. Whoever can spend more money to acquire one customer wins. And if you want to be able to spend more money to acquire a customer, the best way is by using sales funnel, okay? And that's the power. And that's just one funnel. Usually the first funnel is, is the goal of the first funnel is to break even. Once you got them in your email list, you can offer them more product which they need, they want, and people love to buy, and you can offer them, once you, once you have them on the email list, the value of that customer becomes for life, okay, so, that's it for this video, if you want to learn more, actually, I got one thing for you, I, I'm going to give you a, a book from Russell Brunson, this book here, I bought this on Amazon, for around 15 pound, and then later on, I realized he has an offer, which he gives the book for free, I um, also want to put put in the link for you to this book in the description box. Go and is is what good thing about this book is is a free copy. He's gonna give you the book for free. And the book I read this book around like three four times already. The book is awesome. Every time I'm I'm creating I'm creating marketing piece. I'm creating sales funnel. All of that thing I have this book next to me is like a playbook. I learn from it. I read it. I put the, I create. My marketing, I create my product, whatever I need to do. This book is has helped me a lot. So I want to give you this offer. I want to be able to give you this book for free. And the link, like I said, is in the description box. And I'm also gonna give you a bonus. I'm gonna give you an ebook which you can read right away to help you different kind of internet business, internet marketing strategy which you can use to grow your own business if you're having a if you have a like shop, a brick and water business, you can use internet marketing strategy to market your business. Or if you're thinking of different 
ways you can uh, start an online business, maybe selling, uh, selling, um, starting an e-commerce business, starting uh, selling physical products or informational products. If you're thinking of going to software business, all of these things you have to be able to market them online. Go and get this book. I also want to give it. I also I put the link of this in the description. But go and get the other book. Uh, you put in your email, I'm going to send a copy of this book to your email, okay? So, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding internet marketing, go ahead and comment below. I would love to answer your question. If you need any help, go ahead and comment below. I will answer it for you. And thank you so much for coming and watching this video. And also, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like it, please. And share with people who you think in or in need, in need of this video, okay? So, thank you so much and take care for now.